Hello, welcome to another video. My name is Paulo Lorenzo. This is the second video on this series of uh, devices that enable us to check if uh, our multimeters are reading correctly. Uh, this will be about uh, this video will be about uh, the resistors, the resistors, the measuring of resistors. I will draw the schematics that we are using for the device. It will be a series of resistors. Uh, the values will be 100 ohms, 1k, 10k, 100k. Uh, this is will be the connections that we will make inside the device. This will be the points that we that are accessible to make measurements. So we can uh, check only one resistor at a time or we can use the series, we can check 100k or we can check, if we measure here, 110k, 111k, 111.1k if we use all, all the resistors in series. Um, we will use uh, precision resistors, the tolerance will be 0.01 percent, um, but I will talk about the, the, the details of the tolerance of the resistors and uh, the uh, temperature coefficients um, uh, later in this video. And now I will show you the building of the device itself, so you can uh, have an idea how it is made and the, uh, maybe uh, make one of your, for yourself based on the one that I will show you. Uh, see you in a minute.
Welcome back. Now that uh, you have seen how this little box is made, we will talk about the, um, the resistors that are inside. Um, I have here a table. This is the nominal value of the resistors. And this is uh, the resistors have a tolerance of 0.01%. These values hit the lower range, possible range, with uh, minus 0.01%. And these values are uh, plus 0.01%. As you can see, the difference between the nominal value and the value that the range in which the, the resistor can be, it's very small. So when we buy the, the resistor of 100 ohms, this means that it has to be between 99.99 ohm, ohms and 100.01 ohms. It's a very narrow uh, range. Um, as you can see in a 100k resistor, the difference, the maximum uh, difference, it's minus 10 ohms or plus 10 ohms. And these are the, the extremes. The, the resistor uh, it can be between these values. So we, we, when we buy a 100k resistor, we can be lucky and get a 100k resistor, but we don't know. We only know that it is between this value and this value. And, another uh, characteristic of the resistors is the uh, variance with the, the temperature. Uh, these resistors are uh, very stable with temperature. I will show you the values uh, that they can uh, they can change with the temperature. With a, a delta T of 10 degrees Celsius, that is uh, the nominal value, it's measured at 25 degrees. So. A delta T of 10 degrees means that uh, we can be measuring this at 35 or at 15 degrees. And for this resistor, that means the difference of plus or minus, minus in the case of 15 degrees, a plus in the case of 35 degrees. 0 0.002 ohms. For 1K, plus or minus 0 0.01 ohms, 10K, plus or minus 0 0.1 ohms, and for the 100K resistor, plus or minus 1 ohm. As you can see, even with a, a 10 degree change in temperature, the 100k resistor will only change one ohm in one or the other direction as the temperature changes. So, what does this mean? This means that, for an example, the 100 ohms resistor, it's, let's imagine the worst case scenario. We bought the resistor and it is on the far extreme possible of the tolerance. That means this value like this. And let's say that we are measuring at 35 degrees. So we have to add this value here. So these two it's here. So it's um, uh, a digit below the, the tolerance. It doesn't matter for the use that we are given to this little box the differences because of the, the temperature. Uh, now, what does this mean when we are using a multimeter to measure the resistance? Let's imagine um, um, 
a multimeter that has uh, 3200 uh, counts. What does it show up in the, in the display of the multimeter? If we measure, let's say, this resistor in here, in this digit, uh, there cannot be a 9. The maximum is a 3. So, in the display, it will show up like this. Only these three uh, digits will show. Here will be a 0. So, the measure will be between This will be what you, you can show up in the in the multimeter. If the, uh, the multimeter shows anything else than these two, than one of these numbers, the problem is with the multimeter. It's not well calibrated. Let's say another multimeter that has 4,000 counts. It will be the same. In here, there can be not be a, a, this digit cannot be a nine, so. It will be like this. It will be exactly the same. And it will be exactly the same if we have a 6,000 counts multimeter. Multimeter. It will be like this. One of these values. It cannot be show another thing. If it shows another value than this, the problem is with the multimeter. And now let's say that we have a 20,000 count multimeter. Now we have four digits that can have nine. So what we will, what we will show up in the screen will be 0, 99.99 or 100.01. And this is the values that we are sure of, that the, the resistor will be between this and this. So, uh, even with a 20,000 count multimeter, this little box with the four resistors, very easy to do, it's enough to check if the ranges of uh, uh, res uh, for me the ranges for measuring resistors are measuring correctly. Even if we have a 4000 counts multimeter, it will show the same thing. Because here cannot be a 9, so we, we will have this on the display. S this or something between these. Now in here, we can have uh, showing up 100, ho 100 ohms, 0, 0. Anything between 99.99 .99 and 100.01, it will be correct. Anything outside this range means that the multimeter is the problem. So I hope you like this video. In the next one, we'll build another device to check another ranges of multimeters. See you next time.